I'm going to show you how to uh, prepare artichokes. You can either, you know, bake them, stuff them, like, you know, it's really popular in Italian dishes, or you can uh, poach them, you know, braise them. I'm going to steam them today. And before we get going, I'm going to start, you know, getting ready, get my poaching liquid ready. So I'm going to turn my pot on here. I have some uh, chicken stock, but you don't have to use chicken stock. You can also use just plain water if you want. So I got my chicken stock there. Also, I got some white wine. You can use any kind of white wine you want. About a half a cup, a little more if you want. Also, I'm going to cut up some garlic cloves here. I got about four. Cut them in half so they, you know, infuse the flavor really nice into the liquid. I got some uh, bay leaves. It's about four bay leaves. They're broken up. You know, a little more. About four should be good enough. And the artichokes are, you know, native to Mediterranean countries. And uh, nowadays they're grown here in the United States. And we use them in a lot of different dishes. I'm sure you've seen them in the store. You know, they're like canned and, you know, in the brine with olive oil or with the stamps on, without the stamps. There are so many different ways. And now I'm going to put some uh, parsley tops here. A little olive oil. Now we gotta put some uh, some lemons here. Go. I'm gonna add this to my water because I want to have some water ready to go when I do my artichokes. When I peel them, I want to put them in uh, lemon water so they don't turn brown. Also, I want to season some. Uh, put some regular salt. And some black pepper. Okay, now we're gonna get my water going here. I'm gonna put the lid back on, start going. And here we have some wonderful artichokes. You can find this fresh like this. You know, right now they're not very cheap because they're not in season, but in the summertime, they're really abundant. You can find them fresh like this, and you can make them at home, I mean, at home, with no problem. You don't have to, you know, go buy them. You can if you want, but you can use them in so many different dishes, and any pasta and salad. Uh, not pasta too. And I want to show you, this is nothing more than a flower pot. And I want to show the anatomy of the artichoke. I'm going to cut them in half to kind of show you what they look like inside. So, there we go. And I want to rub this uh, right away with some uh, lemon juice. Otherwise, they start to turn brown right away. But I want to do this so they kind of keep their color. And they stay kind of nice. I'm going to put this in the water for right now. As you can see here, we have this, uh, this is the stem. And the outer part is really fibrous and it's not really edible. But you know, you can, uh, this, the center part, the white part, it's really, it's a nice flesh. When it's cooked, it's nice and tender. But like I said, the outer part, the greener part, you want to peel it off. Up here we have the, the, the best part, this is the heart. This little crown here is what most of the meat is. And this is what we're really looking for. And actually we have this little hairy fibers here. This is called the choke. These things, normally you can take them off when we do them right now, you can take them off once or cook, whatever you want. And these little leaves here, these are like really nice and uh, tender. When you when they're cooked, you can, uh, they're edible. So these are really nice, like I said, nice and tender, that the inner leaves. But this outside here, they're really fibrous and nothing really, they're not uh, made to eat. Sometimes when you bake them, you want to, you know, the leaves come off. And this bottom part right here, they got a little tiny flesh. So you kind of peel it off with your teeth. When you stuff them, you bake them in the oven, so these leaves just come off really easy when you pull them off. And then you kind of, you know, eat this little little white part. It's not much there, but that's, you know, how, you know, you eat them. And then there's also little, uh, to like, needles in the, on the tip of the leaves. And these you want to trim when you, like, especially when you want to stuff them and bake them with some breadcrumbs like we do, I mean, you know, the Italian style. And uh, basically this, the, the artichoke, you know, the flower, when it opens up, it's a beautiful, you know, purple flower. And uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the flowers, but they're really nice and, and big, and they, they look really beautiful. Like, again, this is nothing but a flower pot before it opens up. And uh, I'm going to start by showing you how to, you know, prepare them to, like, cook them and, uh, and steam them right now. So I'm going to take a, a whole other choke. And if you want to leave the stems on, it's okay. Normally when we you know, bake them, we cut the stems off so they see flat. I'm going to show them how to do that in a little bit. But right now I'm going to leave the stem on. And I'm going to, you know, start by cutting the top. About an inch from the top, 
they're really tough. As, as you can see, they're not really, you know, soft. You have to really apply pressure to cut the leaves off. And you want to start trimming the leaves. You want to kind of go around. And don't go too deep because you're going to be cutting some of the flesh off from the, the inner part. This, as you can see, this starts to get brown right away. So we want to, you know, keep rubbing some uh, lemon juice. That way they stay nice and uh, green and they don't become brown. I want to use my paring knife to trim it down. Okay. I want to cut the, peel the stem. As you can see, this is like the green part. It's really tough. So we want to kind of be careful when you do this. You don't want to cut yourself. Once you, you cook them, you can marinate them with some olive oil, or just eat them like they are, you know, cool them off or make a salad. They're really great. I mean, there's so many different dishes you can make with this. If you want to cut off all the leaves away from the, from the heart, you can just to expose the heart. Otherwise, you can cook them like this. But I'm going to, like I said, cut this off like this and trim the leaves out here. I'm going to put them in the, the water so they don't turn brown. And it's really quick, you know, to, to make this. You can also cut them in half if you want, like I did this. I'm going to, you know, finish cleaning this one off. It's going to be a little more hard to do because I already cut, got it cut in half, but still I'm going to do it. As you can see, it's a lot of waste, really, to be honest with you. There's really nothing in the outer part of the artichoke, but again, the best part is the hearts. It's what we're looking for. I want to peel the stems off. The water's starting to boil already. Went pretty quick. As you can see. And like, see, if you want to take this, uh, the choke right now off, you can do it. Use it like a little melon scooper. And you can take it off. But otherwise, you can just leave it in there. And you do it when it's, when it's done, when it's cooked. Okay. I do another one. And these usually cook quick, about 20 minutes or so. If they're like, if you put them whole like this, which has the outer leaves trim out off of them, it might take a little longer. But if you uh, peel them and uh, just do the hearts, you know, when they're ready, you just want to, you know, poke a knife in there if there's no resistance, which means that they're done. You don't want to. Overcook them, otherwise they're going to break up. Turn it down because it's boiling. You can see this. Trim all the screen part. This is kind of tough. Throw this in there for right now. See this? And you can uh, make them ahead of time and put them all at the, the same time in the pot. I'm going to start doing them right now because we don't have a lot of time. And I want to make sure that I start cooking them right away. So I'm just going to do another one. I also want to do one the way you would do it if you were to stuff it with some breadcrumbs and, and bake it in the oven, which is, you know, really nice way to do them too.
things I want to show you what it looks like if you take the chalk out of there all these little hairy fibers you want to pull them off dip it in the water you see these are not edible and this easy way to get them out of there with a melon baller just scrape them off as you can see a bunch of little hairy fibers which you don't want to eat those but when you cook them they come out really easy so you can see I got the crown exposed as you can see this it has a lot of them kind of want to go underneath there and scrape them all off you end up with a nice artichoke crown which is the hard the best part of the artichoke so you can see there and this is going to cook even quicker because you know it's more exposed the hearts pretty much you know you can even cut it in half before you, before you cook it. I'm going to throw it in there. Now I want to show you the way that you, you would do them if you were to stuff them with like a, you know, breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese stuffing. It's a nice way to also eat them. They're really popular in Italian cuisine. I'll rinse my knife. Okay, now we're going to let them go for about, I don't know, 25 minutes or so until they're nice and tender. We're going to keep an eye on this so they don't overcook and, you know, fall apart. Now I'm going to take one of this and I want to show you the way you would do it if you were going to, you know, stuff it with some breadcrumbs and bake them in the oven. In that, that case, you want to cut the stem off. That way you can see the artichoke flat and the dish when you bake them. Okay. okay. You also want to cut the top. And now, we don't want to cut the leaves off. We're just going to, you know, cut the needles that they have with the, some kitchen shears. That way, when you eat them, you don't, you know, prick yourself. Just go around like this. Okay. And cut the tops. Sometimes they have little needles on the top of the end of the leaf. At this point, you also want to put some lemon juice. I want to make it nice and flat so it sits flat in the container. There you go. At this point, you probably already have your stuffing. You can make uh, with some breadcrumbs. You can buy breadcrumbs already. Normally, we use, you know, breadcrumbs like this. You can make your own. Put some uh, parsley cut up, some garlic powder, some Parmesan cheese, and some olive oils. And then we just uh, season it up and we stuff them. When we do that, we would take a dish like this to bake it, like, you know, oven-proof dish, could be glass, metal, and you want to open up the leaves like this, and then you want to, you know, put the stuff in the breadcrumbs in between the leaves, and you want to kind of go around and, and open them up as much as you can. You don't want to pull them too hard because they might fall off, and then you'll have nothing to stuff, but then you want to kind of open it up like this, go around, as you can see, kind of go all the way around, and then you start putting some of the stuff in from the outside, and keep opening them up and just drop the stuff in there. You will put them in a baking dish, like the one I got over here. You put some liquid at the bottom, you know, cover really nice so the steam boat doesn't escape. And you're probably going to bake them for about 45 minutes to, uh, to an hour, up and up, well, 350, I would say. And after that, you can take them out, sprinkle some more Parmesan juice on top of some olive oil, some lemon juice, and then you're ready to have a nice artichoke. And once they bake, I like I was saying before, the leaves come off really easy. You just pull them off and they come right out. And you just you know go around and you can eat the the breadcrumb stuffing until you get to the center of the of the artichoke and this is pretty much the way you know a family meal you would eat it and uh with you know italians do it and these are going here really nice boiling really nice okay It's going to take a few more minutes. And if you guys have any questions at this point, 
I know you've probably already done this before, but some of you maybe not. And like I say, it, it could be, you know, sometimes intimidating to see these things at the store and you don't know what to do with them. You know, it's just uh, one of those things that, you know, if we never try, we're never going to know. But as you can see, it's something that very simple to do. And there's, you know, a lot of recipes out there. It's just, you know, the matter of fact is that you want to try something different. I mean, you can call me or, you know, sometimes I understand that it could be intimidating for some of us that, you know, never you know, really cook much, and we see something like this at the store, and we're like, we don't even know what it is. I mean, we know what it is, but, I mean, how do you make it to it look like this? Nice, you know, hearts or stuff, but, again, it's really not that complicated once you get going, and, you, you know, it's really easy to do. It's just you have to kind of know the tricks and how to go about and prepare them, but it's, uh, it's one of those things that, you know, once you do it one time, it's going to be like really nothing, to, you know, to do it next time, but, again, it's, uh, it's nice that you guys can try something different. And the key is make sure you guys always have some uh, liquid with some uh, lemons or even limes. That way you can uh, stop the, you know, turn browns. You can see this. This one is still nice and white. If I were left it here on the counter, it would be nice and, you know, brown by now. It won't be too nice. So if you keep it in the liquid, it's going to stay, you know, fresh a little longer. It won't turn as brown as, you know, quick. It's uh, with air, you know, exposed. Now we're going to try to see if these are like getting ready, but I believe I have a question over here. Okay, the question was, if you were to bake the artichokes, what the temperature would it be? You want to put them about 375, the oven, and uh, once like the leaves fall off, if you, you know, to test them, if they come off, you know, they're, they're pretty much done. You want to leave them there for about an hour, make sure they cover really good so the steam doesn't escape. And uh, like I said, about a three, 350, 375 for about an hour. And then they would be really, you know, ready to go. And I was uh, checking this. And this is really easy now. This is cook. This is the one that artichoke heart that I cut in half. Remember I told you it was going to cook quicker? What do they do? This is like nice and tender. As you can see there, you know, I can... Stick the knife and it comes out really easy. So this is the you know a good way to test them that they're done. So this one is done, like I said before. If you you know clean really nice, just leave the heart exposed. They're gonna cook even quicker. But if you leave some of the you know other you know leaves on, they're gonna take a little longer to to, to cook. Like the ones I ha I left in a hole, they're gonna be you know in there for a little longer. But these are done. See how nice and white they are. As you can see this, I'm not just wipe my At this point, you, you can cool them off, and then you can probably, you know, if you want, you know, make a marinade with some olive oil or vinegar and some fresh herbs and marinate them, you can do that. You can see this in the stores that come packaged, you know, with olive oil and some other herbs, and this is how you do them. This is, like, nice. See? Okay. And they're probably nice and, and tender. It has, has a good flavor. And I mean, that's just amazing. And when you bake them, you're going to have end up with the same thing. It's going to be the heart like this, all the little fibers, like the chokes from here, but you're going to scoop it off. It's going to be easy to take off. Like I, I told you, this I left some on. As you can see, this comes really easy. And then you can just eat them like that. And like I said, this is all nice and, and cooked right now. You can see that the stems are nice and translucent and really you know, tender. This is the way you, know, you would check them to see that if they were done. You can also braise them, you know. You can, you know, make a mirepoix, saute some onions, some uh, carrots and celery, and uh, put them in there with some liquid and finish them off in the oven with some olive oil, some seasonings. Instead of having a lot of liquid in there, like I'm doing right now, pretty much like boiling them or steaming them, you can, you know, braise them, and still it, it, a great, you know, product to, to have, very, you know, nice vegetable. And these are pretty much done now. I want to pull them off. And you can see here, this is the one that I left the choke on. You can see the little fibers here, but these are going to come off really easy once you get, you know, to that part. They come off really nice. These are the inner leaves. They're really nice and tender, the young. And they're nice and soft. So you sometimes you see artichoke hearts like this in the stores, like quarters or halves, and this, they have these little leaves out there. And that's how you, you do them. You leave it on. You don't trim all the way down because you, you you can still eat this when they're when they're cooked 
they're nice and, and tender, they're edible, but the outer part is really tough, they will never get tender like this, so this is how you would make them. And you can make a big batch if you want, I mean, I'm, I'm doing it right now just to show you guys how to do this, but you could like, you know, prepare them ahead of time, keep them in the water, and have the, uh, the poached liquid going, and then you put them all at the same time. That way you don't spend time, like, you know, cooking two or three at a time, like I did here, but you can, you know, buy a big batch and, and do them, you know, like I did, put them in the, in the liquid and leave them there for a while until you're ready to cook. So, and then you throw them all in the pot at the same time. As you can see, this liquid smells really nice. And uh, this, these are almost done too. I'm gonna check them. This a little, a little more. There's still a little resistance when I, you know, stick my knife in there. It's like cooking the potato too, the same way, same concept. At this point, I think I'm gonna shut it off and leave it in there for a few more minutes so they, they keep, you know, cooking in the ocean liquid. And I just wanna see if you guys have any more questions for me right now before we wrap this up. Pardon me? Yes, you can eat the stem, you know, and the stems are edible, like I said before. These are like really nice and tender. See, as you can see, the, the part, the inside part is really nice and soft. And you can eat it, it's really nice. You can see, you know, I'm sure you see them at the store with the stems on, and they're more expensive too when you leave the stem on. But they're great. They have a wonderful taste. And I'm sure you guys you know seen this before. You can, you know, make an antipasto salad with this, a regular salad, a pasta, spinach, and artichoke dip. There's many different dishes you can create, you know, with this uh, wonderful artichokes that you can, you know, make at home. Or you can just eat them like this, the way they are. And uh, I just want to, I hope you can try this at home. Like you see, it was really easy to make. It doesn't take too long to, to cook even. And it's just a, it's a nice way to learn something different. You have a nice uh, addition to your, uh, you know, recipe menu that you probably created at home. And I just want to, we have another question over here. Okay, the question was, can you cook the whole artichoke in liquid? And the answer is yes. You can cook this whole thing in, in, uh, in the portion liquid, and then the same thing is going to, the leaves are going to turn brownish, which is normal. But yeah, you can still cook this whole thing in, in liquid like this. You can just cut the tops and maybe trim some of the outer leaves out of there and just put them there. You want to kind of peel the stems too. If you want to leave the stem on, peel the stems before you, you cook them. And yeah, you can cook the whole thing. And the, and the liquid as well, just the same way as you would do in, uh, in, uh, in the oven, baking them. So, yes. Anybody else? Okay, now I'm going to pull this out of here. As you can see, these are the ones that I left, you know, kind of whole. And I'm going to cut them in half. As you can see, they're really nice. They're nice and tender now. And ready to, to do whatever you want with them. And I hope you can try this at home. It's really, you know, like, like I said before, it's really easy. Don't be afraid of anything. Sometimes, you know, like I say, we, when we don't know these kind of things, it's kind of intimidating, but honestly, Cooking is really exciting and fun. I'm sure some of you have found out that you probably before you enroll in this program, you, you know, really enjoyed to cook. But now it's even better. You guys learn some new uh, tricks, new things about cooking, and it's always there. You're going to be learning something new every day. So just, you know, you want to try to learn something new. And like I keep telling all of you guys, you know, this, uh, this job is like every day you learn something new as long as you want to. And you can just improve even a little trick every day. And uh, I want to, you know, you know, thank you for that. I see you, all you guys, a great improvement from your assignments from day one till now. And I, I keep telling you guys, you know, this is the whole idea behind to do better, always do better, always to, you know, push yourself. And uh, you guys do a great job. I want to thank you again for being here with me this morning. And I uh, look forward to see you next week. Thank you. Have a nice day.